with Sean Q IBTV. Yeah. And today we got my man Deacon joining us. Appreciate you letting us come out here and rock with you, bro. Hey, for sure, man. You understand what's happening. That's real, that's real. Yeah, that for those that don't know you, man, give, give them a quick rundown who you are, where you're from, you know, what you represent and all that. Yeah, well, what's happening, world? What's good, man? This the Deacon. You know what I'm saying? I'm Deacon 305 everywhere you can find me. You know what I mean? I'm from Miami, you know, born and raised, Kara City, the Bajas. You understand me? So that's where I'm from. And you know, I moved up to the O, you know what I'm saying, some years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I'll be back and forth from Miami to Orlando or whatever. You know what I mean? But I represent the whole state of Florida, baby. You know what I'm saying? Everything, you know what I mean? That's how we rocking down here. Alright, that's what's up. That's Good. What's up. How long you been doing what you been doing? Oh man, I've been doing music, man, for a long time. Uh, about 15, 16 years, probably longer than that, man. You know what I mean? Uh, just started out producing. You know what I mean? I produced for a lot of different artists. You know what I mean? With From like Noriega, you know, Rick Ross, you know, uh, Wayne, a lot of different artists or whatever. Then, you know, transition to the TV world, you know what I'm saying? Doing uh, sound scoring. So, you know, a sync deal. So I do a lot of background music for TV shows, commercials and movies and things like that. Then, you know, just branched out to doing my artists. They always wrote records for different people and stuff like that, like at different hooks and things. But now, you know, I'm an artist now, so it's a little different, you know what I mean? Well, um, what motivates you and inspires you to start um, in the direction you Um. I always loved music, you know, since I was little, you know what I'm saying? I always listened to music from different stuff, from gospel to R&B to hip hop, you know what I mean? And I got into music, like, uh, when, I went, I moved, when I went to college, my cousin, when I moved up to the old, my cousin, he used to pre produce, you know what I'm saying? Shout out, said Hollywood or whatever. And I used to, you know, go to the studio with him all the time, so. I was like, man, I could do this here, you know what I mean? So I, you know, seeing him producing, I was like, man, let me jump on the MP too, you know what I'm saying? So I started doing that, you know what I mean? And producing and stuff like that, man. So, tell us, tell us about some of the struggles that you had to face to get to where you are now. Man, it's a lot of struggles, you know what I mean? To get to what's going on, like growing up in Miami, you know, coming from the projects to where I'm at now is a long way, you know what I mean? You got, uh, you know, I grew up in the pro on, on 183rd, then, you know, we moved to the bar house, was supposed to, we thought was a house or whatever, was supposed to be good, it was in the neighborhood or whatever. That shit turned out to be one of the wildest neighborhoods in Miami and shit like that, you know what I mean? So, you know, I grew up with that, you know what I mean? Uh, being, you know, running with a lot of different you know different friends and stuff like that that's dead and gone now you know what i mean a lot of niggas locked up you know what i mean going out with you know me i was off the porch early you know as a young kid too you know so i had to go through a lot of those you know the, the, the struggles of running the streets and selling dope and, and robbing and, and things like that so you know yeah man so you know some struggles you know as doing that but it was it, you, you learn I learned from those lessons you know what I'm saying every time and seeing people you know that I grew up with and I ran with you know what I'm saying every time something happens like damn well how can I avoid not being like this you know what I'm saying so every time I see something happen I try to learn and adapt from it you know even from other people fuck up so even if it ain't mine you know what I mean so you know there's a lot of different struggle you know different dealing with different people BS but you got to keep moving you gotta keep, keep progressing, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep it moving, keep working hard. As long as you stay consistent and persistent, then it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? So it's just like just standing in their face, you know what I'm saying? Letting people know, hey, this is what I'm doing. You do anything long enough, it's gonna happen, you know what I mean? Tell us, tell us about some of the things you got going on. Man, right now, you know, I got my song, Call Me Michael Jackson, that's out there right now. You know what I mean? That I did, you know, two million views on the on the, the lyric video. That I just dropped a new video, you know, the actual official video that's doing good. You know what I mean? We, we jumping on radio stations like crazy, picking it up now. You know what I mean? You know, like 40 different radio stations. Uh, we taking off, you know, 
about to go on a little radio tour soon, you know what I mean? Go on a little promo tour, about to do some shows, you know? Show coming up with, you know, uh, Chance the Rapper and Lil Uzi Bird and Luda and all them. You know, just doing like a lot of different things, just hustling, man, just trying to, you know, stay consistent, man. I got a new song called Motherfucker that's coming out next. It's like crazy than a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? And then after that, I got the Coolio coming. You know what I mean? Coolio, you know, that's that new lingo now, you understand? It's like, ain't no more, hey, what's happening? You chilling? Nah, nigga, I'm Coolio, you feel me? That's what it is, you know what I mean? What's happening, man? What, what, what you doing right now? I'm Coolio, baby. You know what I mean? That's what it is. So, that's coming next. And then after that, I got a project, man, coming, you know what I mean? For everybody. And there's a lot of stuff for the ladies, too. You know what I'm saying? I got you. I'm going to take real good care of you. And I'm going to prove it to you. I'm telling you. Yeah. Hey, you said you, said you be in Orlando. So, um, any artists out there in, in Central Florida you, you work with or you like to work with? Yeah, man. A lot of artists here, man. You know what I'm saying? Anybody here that's hustling, man, that's trying to do something for themselves, they work with. But, you know, I'm rocking with my dog, KT. You know what I'm saying? I'm rocking with Pressure. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, there's a few other niggas, you know what I'm saying? I'm here, you know, I rock with. You know what I mean? That's doing their thing. You know what I mean? Just. Anybody, if you hustling, you doing what you got to do, man. Hey, man, we doing it. I ain't discriminating against nothing. You know, I mainly produce too, so I got tracks for them niggas. You know what I'm saying? We make them bacon beats for you, or we doing features. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, I'll let me. What are some of the things you're doing in the community? Like, some things you want to share with the viewers? Right. Well, support Well, you want to know, you know, like, I started my, um, you know, the, my label, my actual business is the congregation entertainment. You know what I mean? It's people congregating together, getting money, making changes, you know what I'm saying? Talking about different things, you know, just congregating in together, making a change, making a difference for us and our people, you understand? So it, it, that's what it is. And I have, you know, my Bailey Archie uh, Charitable Foundation, you know what I mean? Where we, uh, me and my wife, we have for the kids and stuff like that, man. For single family um, mothers, single family, um, you know, people that have struggles, you know, uh, at risk kids, you know, people, children that need a little help. Uh, we go back, you know, like we just gave our 10 scholarships, you know what I mean? Uh, this last school year, you know what I'm saying? This year, you know what I mean? We want to make it like 15, 20, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, helping, we do like a secret Santa. You know what I mean? To what we give to like, you know, 10 different families, you know what I mean? Just we get a whole bunch of gifts and a whole bunch of different things and other things like that. They help them out, just be like a secret Santa to them, you know what I'm saying? So we go do, you know, a lot of outreach stuff that we go back, give back to, a lot of different projects that we donate to, you know what I mean? When anything happens. So, you know, it, it, it is just like, you know, the more God blesses, you know, we give back, you know what I mean? So. And that's where it all started from the man upstairs. So, you know, you get the blessings from him, man, you got to give back, you know what I mean? So that's what it's about. So that's what I'm all about. So, you know, if you, you know, you struggle, you doing what you got to do, man, and certain things, man, come holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Come holler at the congregation, baby. You know what I mean? Because we over here congregating to make it happen, make a change, make this money. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to share with the viewers? Yeah, you know, um, be on the lookout for, you know, the Deacon, what we got next, you know what I'm saying, what I got coming up, man, like, not a different sound, you know what I mean, like, uh, it ain't the same, same shit you hear all the time, it's the different shit, different little vibe, different little, you know, come get some of this here, you know understand what I'm saying, man, it's the congregation, that's what we do, you know what I'm saying, we rocking out, we outside with it, you know what I'm saying, we all the way live with it. So that's what we doing, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, got the, the website coming soon, the congregation.com, you know what I'm saying? Where you can get all your music, you get all of my bio, all my videos, you get everything from there, you know what I'm saying? And we rocking it just like that. And you know, we invested in everything else too. So also, you know, we own medical equipment company, you know what I'm saying? If you got medical equipment, you need drugs, we own by three, four pharmacies and we deliver. You understand? So if you legit, you got your shit, we gonna get it right to you quick. 
You feel me? And then on top of that, you know what I'm saying? And we got medical scrubs too. So all you working in them, you know, your chicks working in them doctor's offices, and you know what I'm saying? You need you some lab coats. What? Come holler at me, man. Say, hey, come down. Go to Bailey Scrub Farm right down. So you know we got an office in Vero Beach, Fort Lauderdale, Okeechobee, and Orlando. You know what I mean? So you can come holler, you know what I'm saying? Say, tell them Deacon sent you, man. I'll get you 30% off. So you better make it happen, you know what I'm saying? Deacon sent you, you get 30% off. So yeah, man, we just rocking like that, man. You know what I mean? So, man, we, we doing everything, man. Just investing and trying to, you know, make a change what it is, what it is. The Deacon, the congregation, holler. Yeah, amen, hallelujah. <laughs> Yeah, man, a lot of humble yourself, work hard, be grateful and thankful for what anybody do for you. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga in this studio, if he records your ass one time and you ain't have to pay shit, your ass better be thankful. Don't be sitting around here with, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's funny. Like, nigga don't owe you nothing. You know what I'm saying? If a nigga do something for you one time, you know what I'm saying? That's a blessing. You know what I'm saying? So still be be thankful, be grateful, work hard. You know what I'm saying? And be consistent. You know what I'm saying? Don't be over ego. Probably, oh, I ain't finna work this because you know what I'm saying. Doing this and that. Nah, fuck that. Somebody moving, man. They working, man. Work. You know what I'm saying? Give a nigga shot. You know what I'm saying? Make it happen, man. Stop being with this dumb ego shit. Oh man, nigga thinking you know. Ain't nobody you know too much made it yet. So if you coming up, work hard, stay consistent, persistent. You know what I mean? Put God first, man, and it's gonna happen. I'm telling you. Um, is there a way for uh, viewers to get in contact with you? They want to get your music, they want to get your job, or whatever. Hey, go to the website. You know what I'm saying? Y'all want to holler at me, man? The Deacon, man. Go to the congregation.com. DA Congregation, nigga. You understand me? You go there, the congregation.com. You're gonna find everything you need. You understand me? You're gonna find all my music videos. You're gonna find all my songs, all the bio stuff, things, what's happening, what's going on in the community, the next shows, all the updates. Everything gonna be what you need to be. You want that? Go holler at me. Or hey, Deacon305 at Twitter. Instagram, snap all that, you understand me? The deacon, the congregation, we out of here. God first, go get you some money, work hard. Amen, hallelujah.